All right, so just finished Newcastle one after one. Get fucking VAR out of football right now. So as you know, we had a very undeserved defeat today against Newcastle. Yeah, this fucking click of a referee here. Yeah. Listen, I've got no words to describe how fucking pissed off I am with this ref with this referee. Never mind the performance. I'll get into that after, right? This VAR malarkey, yeah, has got to go. It's run by the wrong people. Referees have got referees have got to go as well. They've got no brains, no mindset. Oh, you know what? It's Arsenal. Let's completely fuck them up. No, that's not how it works. The ball, first of all, I want to get into it. The ball clearly went out of play. And Newcastle even stopped because they knew the ball went out, out of play. And the ref signalled, oh, yeah, play. Like at some fucking party or something. Told them to fucking play on. And then they score from it. And then, and then there's a foul in there. Joe Linton on Gabriel, and an offside from Anthony Gordon, and you still give the goal. What kind of mistakes do you make? What kind of person would give that as a goal? I'm sorry, but look, listen. If that if that if this if that was against any other team, you would you would have not given that as a goal. You would have not given that as a goal if that was against. Any other team in the Premier League, even in world football, but of course it's Arsenal. Oh yeah, it's Arsenal. It's Arsenal. It's Arsenal. It's this. No, just because we're Arsenal doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I'm sick and tired now of referees, of referees fucking making the wrong decisions, forgetting to draw the lines, and the same thing happened earlier on in the season. Liverpool against Spurs. Luis Diaz, that goal, oh my god. Listen, VAR needs to get out of football right now. And, and the rest gonna fucking fuck off along with it. Because I'm, I'm sick and tired of it now. I'm fed up of the same mistakes week after week after week. The same response from referees. PGM of apologies. Oh yeah, we're sorry. We we we're sorry. We we didn't fucking forget it. No, I don't want an apology. I want to fix up. I want you to draw the lines. It's not good enough. It's not fucking good enough. To the point now, where you can sit there all you want, and you can say that this ref was being paid to let Newcastle win. Definitely, one hundred percent. Oh, he, he, he wasn't being paid to let Arsenal win, was he? Don't be paid to let no one win. Let the game be fucking fair. Let the football be played how it's supposed to be played. But no. When money's involved, it's different. Seriously, man. And this is the shit that pisses me off as well, right? There's people, yeah. And I'm talking rival fans, Chelsea. They're not down the road, United. Who would sit there and say that that was a goal. Now, if you seriously want to sit there and argue with me, saying that that, that, that goal tonight from Newcastle will, will, was a goal, yeah? Then you may as well kill yourself. Like, seriously. And bury yourself in some next fucking... Because, seriously, come on. You cannot seriously sit there and say that that is a goal. Any, any way you say... That that is a goal. You need to stop watching football. First of all. You need to give up on life. And you need to take some vitamin C. Because. How on earth. Can you exact. Can you specifically say. You sit there. And you say to me. That that was a clear. Utter goal. No. It was not. So don't you dare come to me, anyone, I'm talking in the comments as well, don't you dare come to me or write in the comments or say, that Anthony Gordon goal was a goal. Because it's simple. 
if you say that you've got no ball knowledge, it's simple. The the ball was out of play. It was a foul from Joe Linton on Gabriel. And it was a fucking offside from Anthony Gordon. How many times do I have to say it? Referees in football are so fucking corrupt. Referees in football are so fucking corrupt. And no one seems to understand what I'm saying. Do you know? I'd happily take a rep from the Van Der Rama fucking National League. Jesus Christ. I've never seen such bullshit in my life. Anyway. Into the player ratings. David Rea. He gets a one for me. Could have done a lot, lot better with that goal, if I'm honest with you. A lot, lot better. He could have jumped higher. He should have been on his toes ready for it. What do you do? No, you stay flat on your feet and you let it fucking go in. Uh, if that was Ramsdale, I'm sorry, but he's saving that. All day, every day. Aaron Ramsdale is saving that. I'm sorry. Left back Tommy Yasu. I thought he was pretty quiet tonight. He didn't really do anything. It's just, standard, it's just a standard performance for me, really. I'll give him a two. Didn't really do anything. Uh, into the centre backs, first of all, Gabriel. I think he was probably our best defender tonight. Him and Saliba. Him or Saliba were our best defenders tonight. Uh, seeing a little scrap that him and Almoron got in. Um, yeah, yeah. It's sad to see my team losing, man, after such an unbeaten run as well. And I'm, a, I'm about to sit here and cry. And I don't know, I mean, it hurts me that them lot down the road are, to are top of the table. And, yeah. But yeah, for me, Gabriel will get a four. I'll give him a four. William Saliba, he will get a four as well. I thought he was, him and Gabriel were good tonight, I suppose. Uh, I, I felt like Saliba was getting pretty tired though uh, towards the 50th, 60th minute, which is why you need to big on uh, ya Jakob Kivior. I know you might be sitting there thinking I'm crazy, but s Jakob Kivior, yeah, he was he was good midweek and good against Sheffield United on the weekend. I, d I don't know why you didn't bring him on after uh, for the last couple of minutes, but. Yeah, it is what it is. So he gets a four. Ben White for me gets a one. He was nowhere to be seen at all. Dyed his hair back to bell, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and was on was even more anonymous than he than he has been. So it doesn't make a difference what hairstyle Ben White has. He's still, he was still fucking anonymous tonight. Into the midfield, our best player by a million miles, Declan Rice gets a nine. This guy, yeah. If you have the cheek to sit there and say that Declan Rice is not worth more than 100 million, then you can stop watching football and you can, as I said, you you can give up on life, innit? Because Declan Rice is a gem. This man literally tries all his hardest just to get the best for Arsenal. And what's everyone else do? Yep, go on, Declan. Yep, you go. You go, Declan. We'll just wait here. Not fucking acceptable, and it ain't even good sportsmanship either. It just for on Declan Rice to do anything. Declan Rice gets a nine. The other two midfielders, Jorginho, again, anonymous. Every time he's had the captain's armband this season, he's been nowhere. He's been anonymous all the time. He's a bit like Erdegaard nowadays, who, by the way, wasn't even in the in the squad today. I don't know why. But Jorginho, jo 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 I have to give it two. He was awful. Don't know why Arteta keep playing him. If other guys out out injured, I would have played Fabio Vieira. He was actually decent when he came on. Or I'll, I'll, I'll get into him after. But Jorginho gets a two. Now we get into the most debatable player of this whole entire Arsenal team, Kai Havertz, and should he be uh, and should he have been sent off today? It's a bit 50-50, um, if I'm honest with you, but he didn't, so I'll give him a three for his performance overall. He wasn't the worst on the pitch, but he wasn't the best on the pitch. I can't give him higher than a three, I'm sorry. Only player I can give higher than a five is Declan Rice, and that's literally it. Uh, into the attacking three, uh, Bakayo Saka, anonymous tonight, I'm sorry, I'll have to give him a one. And, and I know that's pretty... Bad for our star boy, but 
he was nowhere. And again, I know you sit there and you want to say, oh, Saka's everything, Saka's this, Saka's that. But in the last couple of weeks, he really hasn't been there. Especially tonight, man. Tonight was really bad. He was nowhere. I think we should rest him on, in the Champions League on Tuesday. I honestly think we, we should, you know. Give him the give him the rest he needs and get him fired up then for the weekend against Burnley. Um, tear them to pieces, but yeah. Saka gets a one. On the left, Martinelli, I think he was our best attacker tonight. Actually tried to do something with, with the ball. I'll give him a four. Uh, I know he, I know he, it, I know he, he didn't do much, but like it was better than Saka and then Ketty. And you know, I'll get into Eddie in a minute because my word, I've got some things to say about him. But Martinelli, I have to give him a four because he done well. I think, in, especially in the last twenty minutes of the second half, he woke up. Um, but yeah, that's that. And up front, the main striker Eddie and Ketty are again. This guy, yeah. And I've said this for time, he cannot score against big clubs. He cannot score against big clubs. Yeah. I honestly don't understand why Leandro Trossard didn't start tonight. Honestly. Eddie is clearly tired. Yeah, I know he got a hat trick against Sheffield United, but. It's Newcastle. It's different to Sheffield United. But that's not me disrespecting him because he got a hat trick. I mean, fair fair play to him in that. But like, still. Um, but yeah, the sub. I have to give Eddie and Ketty or two. But yeah, the substitutes. Uh, who was who, who came on? Leandro Trossard. My guy cannot take corners. I'm sorry. Martin Eddie was still on the pitch and he he came on for Eddie and Ketty. Or. My guy cannot take a corner. I'm sorry. You can't you you cannot sit there and say he can take a fantastic corner. Martinelli and Saka are corner takers. It's as simple as that. Trossard, when he came on, he was a bit lively, but didn't really do anything. I'll give him a three. Uh, Zinchenko, I thought was the best of our substitutes tonight by by a million miles. And I know I'm 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 a big I'm a bit I'm a big uh, discriminator of uh, Zinchenko. Well, I wouldn't say discriminator. Actually, you know, I'll say um. Discipliner of Zinchenko, that's the word, sorry. Um, but, yeah, tonight he was actually alright when he, he came on. He, he came on for, for, for Ben White. Understandable substitution, you know what I mean? Ben White was a bit quiet. Uh, I think Zinchenko done well, you know. And it's very hard for me to say that, but I think he did, you know. Uh, I think the other one was Fabio Vieira for Jorginho. Done a lot. Done, I think, took two free kicks. Had a, had a chance on goal. It was a bit everything from Fabio Vieira tonight, and I think it's in those kind of kind of moments where we can sit there and say he could have gotten himself something tonight. But yeah, listen, that wraps it all up for the match review. Just please get VAR out out of football by next season, even by tonight. Get VAR out of football tonight. It's it's as simple as that. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. I'm out of here.